On Monday, reality contestant and former Trump White House official Omarosa Manigault Newman continued her book publicity tour by releasing a recording of White House Chief of Staff John Kelly firing her. She also publicized a recording where the president asked her what happened and why she was leaving. Omarosa's actions prompted concerns that it's so easy to record conversations with top officials, including the president as well as a volley of unhinged presidential tweets calling her, vicious, not smart, and a loser. Sponsored on CNN Monday, host Jake Tapper knocked the Trump White House for giving the reality star a job in the first place. In his own tweets, the president seemed to suggest that she was utterly unqualified to work in the White House, yet he intervened on her behalf because she buttered him up. She only said great things about me, the president said. Tapper then pointed out that it should not have come as any surprise that Omarosa didn't behave in the most ethical and professional manner following her departure. If only there were some warning that Omarosa was not trustworthy and she'd be fired in a spectacle, he joked. If only some clue of this coming, watch.